what I'm hoping to show you in this video is why letting your hair go gray is an invitation to be more bold with your makeup and it's an opportunity to do something unique and gorgeous and just highlight your beautiful features um, that will complement your hair, not hide from it. Hi, my friends, Christine Ann here. I hope you're doing well. If you are new, welcome. And I hope you will consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. Um, today we're talking about why your gray hair is the exact reason why you should be more bold with your makeup, not less. And I am going to be demonstrating why I think that using the new Isamaya um, Industrial Palette. Um, this is, came out a few months ago, um, but I saw this, I was intrigued, I watched videos. I'll tell you what I think up front. I think it's exquisite. I think it's the best palette, or at least one of the top five palettes I've used in the past year. I am really excited. This is something on another level, okay? This is somebody who put a lot of thought, creativity, um, intention into every single shade every single quality of each one um it's called the industrial palette it feels like something industrial and uh when i put it on i feel gorgeous um so i'm gonna back up and show you how i did this makeup look i'll take you through what is in the um the box set, which I believe it was uh, retails for $200. In my opinion, it was worth every single penny. And um, I, it's not often that you do something and you just feel incredible and you want to rush out the door. Okay, so let's get started. I'm excited to show you. Okay, so here is the box that the full set comes in. Um, it's black. It's kind of um it's really interesting it says these are not tools these are weapons for truth okay and then when we open it let's see now i have been in here so it's been um open but you have the um the uh brow pomade and the brush here is the um lip lacquer I have to look the mascara uh, I'm saying mascara like is Maya mascara mascara like Chris um, and then here is the eyeshadow compact so I'm gonna start using these in the order um, that I would all right so we're gonna start with the brow lac okay um, what I do is I take like a very little bit on my um, on my pinky finger and then I just kind of paint it over my brows. Now I've already done, um, I've already used my Benefit pencil to color in my brows a little bit. So now um, I just use that lacquer and I brush it through and I have to trim my brows, or I've been meaning to, but I kind of like how it looks the way it looked when Isamaya did it, that it's sort of this, you know, the hair's kind of going up. There's something kind of edgy about that. So, um, and compare that to this eyebrow, which is... I haven't done anything yet. This one as is, is a little more kind of um, tailored, I guess, or groomed. And this one looks a little more kind of edgy and fluffy. So I kind of like that look and I never thought of brows as having like different ways that you can, you know, tailor them as you want or groom them as you want. So um, that's kind of, that's kind of fun. 
Okay, and now these will, um, I have tried this already yesterday, these will stay. They will not move the rest of the day. So it works really well, but they're not crunchy. It doesn't give like a white coating or look like there's something in your brows that some things could look at look like so they just look sort of glossy and combed and this comb is like like practically worth the cost of the box <laughs> it's just the best comb ever um so let's put that back then the next thing I'm going to put on is the lip lacquer before I put on any of the eyeshadow. This is amazing. And I might even, I don't know, maybe this will last me a while, but I know her products are supposed to be limited edition. Um, this, this product is amazing. So first off, it's very dark as you can see, right? And you see right it's very dark it has this ring here um, very sort of edgy then when it comes out I'm gonna do half of my lips okay so so as you can see it kind of makes them darker darker than your natural lip color but they still look like lips um, and it really is sort of like a glossy brown black, but it's subtle. It's very wearable. I think it's very becoming. Um, it feels great. And yesterday when I wore this, I think it was four hours later, I realized that, um, you know, some of the color had worn off, but my lips, I still felt it. It felt really good. It felt very hydrated. Really, really nice. Um, I also really like this foot. Um, it, it's, uh, you know, it bends easily. And that gives you a little bit of the idea of what it looks like. It bends easily. I don't know if you can see that. And this is like... It's amazing so it goes on beautifully I absolutely love this color I feel I feel like fierce and that's like what I feel like the products are meant to um, make you feel like this is the industrial collection it's it's like it reminds me of things like you know Terminator or Mad Max it's sort of like grungy um, powerful uh, so I love this this is probably like my favorite lip product I have tried in the past year okay uh, we will come back to the mascara <clears throat> or mascara if you're from um, New York like I am we will come back to this I tried this yesterday this is a curling mascara this is called rubber lash it does curl it didn't curl mine as much but curled enough that i felt like my my lashes were very um sort of prominent um okay let's move on to the palette the palette is exquisite so there it is um okay so you see this subtle kind of outline of a woman it's made of plastic but I had heard a number of um, one or two different beauty channels, very popular beauty channels that are very well liked, saying how they thought this felt a little cheap. And I disagree. Um, I think that, um, I think it feels well made. Hold on, I, I can't say. I feel like um, it's well made, very secure, a nice size mirror. Um, the top is likely, you know, a piece of plastic that was then the edge put on. If this was solid, then people would be complaining that it's too heavy. I mean, you can never win. Um, I think it is lovely. I think it is just heavy enough, just substantial enough to feel like quality. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be two pounds. Um, 
And anyway, um, that's by that. I think I think the packaging is awesome and it really goes along with the rest of the products and her vision. Um, I just absolutely love it. And then here are the shadows, which are really, really nice. So just one thing to say up front is that when I swatched these yesterday and I was playing and putting on my eyes, these are not your typical um, eye shadows. Some of these are very unusual textures that this is about putting materials on your eyes to create an artistic kind of look and vision that she has. This is not your run-of-the-mill eyeshadow. And so for that reason, um, some of these you do have to maybe wash your face two times or three and really use makeup remover to get it off. I think considering how unique and interesting this palette is, I don't consider that a problem at all. Um, but, uh, usually, you know, there's some makeup that even with just your regular cleanser, you can get it off. And this one, I used my cleanser and then I said, oh, there's more there. Then I went and I used my balm and then I went back and I used my cleanser again and it was, it was fine, but, um, there's still a little bit there. I just realized I'm going to get a brush, um, cause I want to do some of this with my fingers and some with a brush. So, okay. So I, I got, um. A number of different brushes some are softer some are more firm because the textures in here are all very different and um, let me start by doing swatches for you and um, so I'm starting starting here and I'm gonna go across the first row and then I'll do the second so this one is, I believe it's called, this one's called Leather, and it really is, um, it feels like, it feels like Play-Doh, I would say a little. It feels like putty. It's very matte. It's almost like a little bit of a greasy kind of feeling. Not bad. I, maybe emollient is the word. Not, not anything um, bad. The next color the next shade right next to it is kind of a, a very opposite. This is called Sweat. And you see that is uh, sort of an iridescent, little bit of a wet looking kind of shade. This next one is called Brass. Okay. Let me swatch it a little bit. So sort of like a fiery orange. Okay. This next one is called Grip. Let me see if I can get a little more. Like I said, some of these are a little, okay, so there it is. I did use, no, that's it. It's sort of like a gray green, at least the way I'm swatching it, okay? Try it again because I want to see. No, that's that's it. Okay, I thought maybe I had a dirty finger. Um, the next one is called Motor. Okay. So this one's sort of like a black base with a brass kind of. Uh, brass kind of sparkle to it, shimmer. Next is Machine. This is one of my favorites. It's sort of, okay, I'm getting Machine all over me, but that's okay. It's, it's worth getting all over me. So this is like a pewter kind of color. Um, really, really nice next one is called cuprum okay and that's what it is it's sort of like a reddish brown copper 
Okay. This next color is called Fetish. Okay, a little brighter than here, right? This one's a little, a little more sheer. This one's kind of a black base. This one's a little more kind of like a brassy gold. Then we have Belt. This next color is called Flesh. So that is one, let's see, it's very sheer. Let me do a little more. So I wanna make sure you get a good view of it. Yeah, it's kind of sheer. Let me look at it on my own. Oh, I'm going all around my arm. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's sort of, little more like a, a gold kind of sheer okay a little more goldy kind of sheer as opposed to this one's that's like that white purple blue shift okay next is whip maybe whip is my favorite color certainly from yesterday ah oh, yes whip is my favorite color it's like it looks like gravel or something um, so this one is black, sort of like that rubber, very matte kind of texture. And this one is like, you know, black with silver glitter. It's gorgeous. Then we have a navy blue. It looks like it's black, but it's the darkest navy blue, like an ink. And this is the shade of navy blue that I wear a lot. I always say I love it. Um, it, it is just gorgeous, right? So it's navy blue with a little bit of shimmer. You see, it's different from this one. It's different from this one. So you really got to swatch these out to see the difference. Then the last two, this one is called heat heat is is sort of like i would say a greeny gold um shimmer without much of a base okay you see it there and then our very last color is called initiator And this, is, this looks like toxic waste or something, right? Um, so, uh, so there is everything. Okay, so that is our palette. Now I have to decide what I'm going to do. Um, I, uh, a couple things I brought with me. I don't know if I'll use it or not. I have, um, is this from, this is from Stila. This is one of their double ended, um, eyeliners. So I have black and then I have this, uh, sort of, you know, color like this coppery color, which I thought is a nice, um, thought is potentially a nice uh, complement to brass, that color right there. But I don't know what we're going to do. Let's see. I don't want to, um, like I said, I played with this palette already yesterday. I, I had it like all over my face. I was having the best time. Today, and I wasn't going anywhere, so it didn't matter like one eye was half off my face and the other was down this way. I was just playing with it and smearing it all over my face, um, having fun. And also that is why it took me so many times to wash my face to get it off because I had a lot of product on. Today I have to go to the post office, okay? So I want the makeup to be um, a little more effort put into it, but I also want to walk into the post office looking like a 
fierce Mad Max warrior to drop off my packages. Okay, so that's the goal that we're going for today. Um, I am going to start with, um, my God, I add, uh, this, this palette is just stunning. I definitely want to use a uh, whip. Um, oh my God, I want to use them all. This, this navy blue, which is um, diesel. This is not a palette to play it safe and do something dainty. I know what I'm going to do. First thing we're going to do, and this is the, this is another thing. I'm going to see if it's going to work as we're doing it. Um, is she didn't start from the outside and go in the way, you know, so many times we're taught you start and you do your transition and you go into your crease and your outer. She just started on the inside and brushed it on like she was coloring, right? And that's what I'm going to do. And it's actually, it seems, seems easier. I haven't done this before, but who says that you have to start from the outside and work in, right? So we've started, we're off to a good start. I already love it. Then I'm going to go into Whip. I'm dying to use this color, okay? I'm not trying to make anything perfect um, because that's also what my Beauty Blender will be for. All right? I'm just trying to get this kind of on my lid and then I'm smearing it up into the crease. I have no plan. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I think that is part of maybe what we should be doing with makeup, right? Is not being so regimented and coloring in the lines of your eye. Just put it on, um, go crazy, enjoy it, right? So there's that so far. And I'm really, really liking it. Um, post office is not going to know what's coming. I actually have to go to the post office because I will be mailing my newly framed paintings uh, to Miami for Red Dot Miami. So that's exciting. I just got everything back. Um, so easy, so easy. I've heard people say that before. It's like they just go on by themselves and it's a piece of cake. What else do I want to do? Just because I want to try something else. Um, I really want to try this navy blue color. This is like, this is like just painting. Um, this isn't like makeup. This is just painting with your face as your canvas. So I'm using the navy blue under my eye. I don't know if you can necessarily tell. It's all right. I, I just want to kind of see with different brushes how this goes on. Okay. How's that looking? I like it. Um, this is probably not the right one. Maybe I just need to use my finger. I'm going to use the color Sweat to go in my inner corner. I always have a trouble with my inner corner. I don't know why it is. But no worries. Okay, so there's kind of that look. So I'm going to go back in this brass color, kind of bring it up a little.
Okay, so here's my eyes. I don't, um, you know what, they're not perfect, but I also, perfection is not the goal. When you look in a magazine and you see a perfectly done eye, you know, that's the artistry of the photograph and the artistry of demonstrating the makeup. Nobody is in your face this close, you know, looking at your makeup. They see you from uh, far away. They might see you with your glasses on. Nobody's looking. If they are looking, maybe because they're interested, and if they are looking because they think something's weird, well, then that's their issue because I... I am not I feel marvelous. I think I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna use this color as my eyeliner, right? So I actually kind of like that because it's the littlest bit of that copper color. It's not too much. So now we're gonna use the rubber lash, okay? I am not using an eyelash curler because this is supposed to um, curl them on your own. Um, there is the brush. It's actually, uh, can you see that? It's got little teeth. It sort of kind of doesn't have any teeth there. It's curved. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're looking at my ear while I'm uh, putting this on. I don't know if you can appreciate that. Let me look from the side. Okay. Um, Oh, my brow again. Oh, I can't wait to go to the post office. I can't wait to leave the apartment. Um, right? Now, I need something for my cheeks. I want to use one of my new Merit um, cream blushes. Um, these are the minis that I got. I think... This is the color, again, I can't see as usual. Let me go like this. Mars, this is Mars. I think Mars looks good. So I'm gonna just do it with my hands, I don't care. Uh, okay. Um, I'm done. If I wanted to, I don't feel like I need to. Here's my beauty blender from when I did under my eyes that I could just touch it up a little, but I don't think I need to. Okay, folks, I think the lesson learned here is, as I hope you can see, step out of your comfort zone, play with your makeup, forget about all the rules that everybody talks about, um, I love watching all the different beauty channels I watch, but I, I don't like always the rules about how everybody puts it in. This is how I want to do my makeup. I want to do it from the inside out. I want to just play with color. You know, ladies, if you decide to change your hair to gray, don't back up with your makeup and your jewelry and your clothes and feel like you need to fade into the woodwork. Be bold, wear amazing things. I'm thinking what my husband told me, which was if you're going to let your hair grow gray, own it, make it a statement. And I feel like this eye look, this is very Hannah Louise Poston. I didn't mean to do that, but I really love her channel. So, um, Hannah, that is for you. That is an homage for you. Um, this just feels empowering and amazing. And it really reminds me of her Angry Eyes video when she said when she puts on her eye makeup in a very bold, dramatic way, she feels bold. Um, that's how I feel right now. Um, I'm encouraging you to wear makeup to um, highlight your hair and your features, not wear makeup that is apologizing for it or is subtle because now that you have gray hair, you need to be some version of yourself that you think you're supposed to be. I have gray hair now. I am 53. I'm in the prime of my life. 
I have things that I can afford to do now that I couldn't when I was 23. And I had beautiful, long, curly, uh, brown, black hair. I don't have that anymore. So now um, this is what I look like. So I have to adjust um, accordingly. And um, this eye look is what I came up with today. And I love it so much. Um, I think it's going to be, I don't know. Am I going to make it a signature look? I don't know. But you know, when you find something that you love, whether it's a recipe, cause you like to cook, it's a book that is so good that you haven't read a good book in such a long time. This for me, this makeup is just something I have not felt in this entire year of playing with makeup and trying to find who I am through my makeup and through the self-expression of makeup. I feel like I have just hit the nail on the head that this is me and um, I can express myself through this palette. Everybody, if you're watching, have a marvelous day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.